Hello friends and nerds. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to glow up your character and uh, just in have glow in your environment. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump right into it. Add your world environment to your scene. We're going to go to the environment uh, section on the right. We're going to add a new environment. We're going to go to glow. We're going to enable that. We're going to go to background. We're going to enable canvas. So this is going to basically allow the background to focus on the canvas itself. So next up, we're going to go to the uh, blend mode. We're going to do screen. We're going to go through a few of them and see what happens. And then the important part for this one um, is mainly because we're not going to change anything on other than like this. Uh, we're going to have to change the threshold. So if you if you hover it, it'll actually tell you that uh, if you want it to work, it needs to be lower than one in, in the case of like mobile rendering. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring it really low to the point like zero three. And as you can see, my thing isn't is glowing up already. And I'm going to reset that. Ooh, it's still glowing. Uh, let's try. Oh, yeah, well, I guess it just glows. Uh, okay, so that's what you would want to do, though. You would want to go to the raw section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 15, 15, 15, oh, not 100, 15, 15. And then I'm going to go to self-modulate. I'm going to change this to 20, 20, and maybe 25. See what happens. Yeah, okay, well, and that's how you get glow. So um, you would just modulate. I think you can self-modulate. Let me actually delete this, and then let's add a node and get it. Let's try it from scratch. Okay, so I guess you don't have to technically self-modulate it in this case for it to kind of glow up a little bit. Um, in this case, what we can do is we can reduce the threshold a little bit, or sorry, reduce it. Now you can kind of play around with the other um, blend modes. I per <laughs> I replace. Um, I personally like screen and additive. Screen is really good for more of a soft. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but um, a softer kind of thing. Whereas additive is a bit more hard. Hard. Um, so let's go back to the node and then increase this to like fifty. And there you go. You can see the glow. So. Um, you can kind of also play around with like a few of them and maybe if you want like um yeah purplish color you just do that um and obviously these values are extremely high but you can kind of play around with that again and find what numbers work for you um you can also play with bloom bloom will kind of bloom up your screen it'll look very weird but um, it's up to you i do have bloom in some of my games um again we'll kind of look at additive additive is very more bright uh thing i guess and then you can kind of play around with all the other numbers but um in my in my experience i usually use these three bloom not as much but uh threshold and blend mode definitely so uh that's how you guys add bloom into your good 04 game uh, sorry if this video is a bit um groggy i'm very i'm very groggy these days or the, these next uh few weeks so um hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys uh learned something if you did uh, go click the subscribe button down below, comment down below, like the video, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.